we've got to have a package of democratic renewal, social renewal, and economic renewal. And I think the democratic renewal bit is is where the Gordon Brown feature comes. And then how the democratic renewal helps you achieve the social and economic renewal for me is is the important bit because I think we often get trapped in thinking that there's a uh, there's a magic potion or a silver bullet of of powers of devolution that means people are going to automatically transfer to voting for the Labour Party. I, I think it's more complex than that. I think people need to know what's it going to mean for me, what's it going to mean for my family, what's it going to mean for my bills, what's it going to mean for my opportunities. That part, I think, is the next phase of the work of the of the GB, uh, the output of the GB Commission. I think the other point that I think is really, really important to stress is, is you, again, you can, for a lot of people, one of the reasons why they've been driven towards the SNP and division, driven towards independence is because they just want to get rid of a Tory government. And for 12 years, they haven't believed Labour could win the UK general election. And so the only escape route was independence or, and voting for the SNP. Is, so again, f- for those people, you could offer them the greatest package on devolution in the world if they say, OK, we're still going to be run by the Tories, we still want out. So, so again, that part, I think, is what we've got to, we've got to fundamentally address. And, and that's the plea I make to people. Um, and I hope people can see this in the change of tone we've had in the last two years as well is, look, I don't support independence, I don't support a referendum, but, and I would argue there isn't a majority, consistent majority for a referendum, there isn't a consistent majority for independence, but there is an overwhelming majority in Scotland for change. And Labour come the 2024 election has to be that change, and it has to demonstrate to people what that change means for them. And so my plea to people is, you know, you, we might disagree on the ultimate, so take you and I, Jeff, as an example, you and I may ultimately and will ultimately disagree on the final destination for Scotland. But on this part of the journey, in terms of getting rid of the Tories, changing how we, a, a culture of cooperation rather than conflict, strengthening our Scottish Parliament, strengthening Scotland, on this part of the journey, let's go on this part of the journey together. That's the plea we'll be making come the next general election.